stop being ignorant, read something other than what you see on Media Takeout and World Star Hip Hop, and educate yourself. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Yo, what up? It is Taz Daddy, and wow, some people are angry at me. Oh, sorry. Um, first and foremost, let me say this. Uh, the views and expressions of Taz Daddy are not necessarily those of Clear Channel, Power 99, anybody else but my own. Um, the one thing that I need you to understand about me is I don't care that much uh, about the nonsense. Uh, you can call me all the names you want to. Everybody can see I'm fat. That does not change the fact that ignorance is going on. And I want you to understand that for me, this is bigger than Krayshawn, V Nasty, uh, Mr. Fab, uh, White Girl Mob, all of that. You know, this is something that has been going on for a long time. The usage of the N-word and the raping of our culture by our own people is disgusting in and of itself. Now, I've gotten thousands of Twitter responses, hundreds of emails, and uh, a lot of comments on the video, and the one thing I want you to understand is, uh, have I said nigga before? Yes. Do I say it now? No. When I was a child, I, I lived as a child, I behaved as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. I got a daughter, and it doesn't make sense for me to say to her, now, daddy can say nigga, but she you can't say nigga. The word is offensive. You don't see uh, Jewish people calling each other kike. You don't see um, Italian people calling each other guidos, except for the folks on the Jersey Show, and half of them aren't really Italians. Uh, the thing that I need you to understand is that this is not about me bullying anybody. This isn't me picking on a white girl. But I've got to ask you, why are you so quick to defend other people from making fun of the fact that you make fun of yourself and you're too dumb to realize it? Black music is the only art form that we constantly give away to everyone else. And then we turn around and say, oh, well, you know, it's all good with me because somebody's from the hood and that gives them the right. They have a record of armed robbery and all of a sudden they're just as black as you are. What kind of thinking are, are you using? Uh, to the people who have said things like, well, Power 99 plays these kind of records. I don't own Power 99. I don't pick the music at Power 99. Hell, I don't even have a show on Power 99. I do interviews with all kinds of celebrities. I also asked CeeLo why the hell he dressed up like Patti LaBelle and said fuck at the BET Awards. But somehow that didn't make it on the World Star. But this one did. Wanna know why? Because it's controversy and race relations sell. You've got this two opposing forces. You've got a big honking black guy and a teeny tiny white girl who's so hardcore that the second I ask her about the word nigga, she backs down and feels like I'm gonna punch her in the mouth in a room full of witnesses on camera. But I'm bullying and I'm a hypocrite. And then you put things in my mouth like I'm never gonna play the record. I don't have that kind of power. Where do y'all come up with this? But you're so busy calling me a hater and, and this, that, and the other that you don't stop and think about the bigger picture. The bigger picture is I'm not a nigga. You're not a nigga. Nobody is a nigga, okay? The word needs to die. I'm not Al Sharpton. I don't want to be. What I want is for people to understand the most important thing. I am one man, but at least I'm doing something and standing up where most of you are just like, well, you know, it's okay because she riled people and I like her music and everything's all right. But ask yourself why there aren't any conscious artists on the radio. You don't buy them. Ask yourself why it's so easy for anybody of any race to say the word because you allow it. But then you want to attack me because I decide to take a stand? Who's the hypocrite? I'm sorry. I'm not a kid anymore. And I'm not going to stand by and let you sit up there and say, oh, well, he's fat, so everything he says doesn't make any point. When you have to throw insults, you've already lost the argument. The bottom line is stop being ignorant. Read something other than what you see on Media Takeout and World Star Hip Hop and educate yourself. I was at City Hall in Philadelphia putting on a campaign about stopping violence in Philadelphia. What have you done other than hide behind a keyboard or hide behind a Blackberry with your thumbs? Nothing. Because most of you only talk. you e-thugs and your thumb thugs. You don't do anything impactful. You don't do anything to uplift or enlighten your people. And I damn sure 
will know by some of the video responses I've seen that most of you don't read. I only saw one that was halfway intelligent, but they were so busy exaggerating that they lost sight of the facts. So here it is. Those are the facts. You don't have to like them. You don't have to like me. But I'm not your nigga. Understand that. Peace.